Hey everyone, it's Jordan again, and here for our second video in the Corona Lesson series. I know practicing some of this social distancing may have definitely put a different dynamic into some of the relationships you may currently have, but I wanna talk a little more about the relationships we see in nature, also called a biological relationship. And I want to do that by discussing one of the most important organisms on the planet, and that is lichen. Jordan, what is lichen and why is it so important? Great question, camera. So lichen is actually not one single organism, but it is a relationship between two different organisms. Now, like I said earlier, relationships in nature are called biological relationships, and there are five types of those. There are abiotic relationships, also known as commensalism, where one organism is benefited and the other is unaffected. You have a symbiotic relationship, also known as mutualism, which is a relationship where both organisms are benefited. And then you have a parasitic relationship, also known as parasitism, which is where one organism is benefited while the other organism is harmed. Now the other two um, are a little less relevant to what we're talking about. Those are known as predation and competition. Um, so the two organisms that have entered a symbiotic relationship to form a new species known as lichen is fungi and algae. So algae provides the photosynthesis and allows the fungi to produce food. And the fungi allows the algae structure and a place to grow. So that brings me to why it's so important. Um, so algae, where do you typically find algae? You're talking ponds, lakes, oceans, and it needs a very, very, very wet environment to grow. Um, algae is responsible for about 60% of the world's oxygen, not just algae, but other marine plants as well. But algae is a large part of that. So obviously algae plays a very important role in our ecosystem. So what lichen has done is with the fungi, it now allows the algae to be grown in multiple locations. So you can find lichen anywhere from sea level all the way up to alpine elevations. And that allows oxygen to be produced through all layers of earth, in, underwater, on land, up on the mountains. So everywhere oxygen can be produced very readily. Now. Um, in the alpine areas where it does get cold and temperatures drop and plants can't grow, these are also a very, very important food source for animals such as reindeer, which depend in the winter seasons on lichen almost exclusively in their diet. So there are over 20,000 species of lichen, and lichen is estimated to cover about 6% of Earth's land surfaces. Um, so that being said, there are thousands and thousands of types of lichen we could talk about, but they're broken down into several families. And there are three main families of lichen that you will see most commonly. And they're all kind of um, pictured right here, if you want to take a look. So we have our folio space lichen. Folio space lichen kind of breaks apart, um, comes in large clumps. And I remember that because it reminds me of leaves on the ground, which is also known as foliage. So this sort of looks like leaves on the ground, foliage, folios, folio space lichen. Um, the next one right here, the sort of stringy lichen that kind of grows off sort of like in an epiphyte or an air plant style. Um, this is what is known as frutico space lichen. Um, and it has a lot of stringy fibers and grows outward instead of and it grows upward instead of outward, sorry. Um, now, I remember this because it kind of looks like the strings that come off of your orange peel. Um, so orange is a fruit, frutico space lichen kind of looks like those strings, so that's how I remember it. And then the last one I wanna talk about is crusto space lichen, which is very flat, almost doesn't really have a texture when you feel it, um, and you find it pretty common on down tree branches. And I remember that because it's flat and expands as it grows, so it kind of reminds me of pizza crust. So pizza crust and crusto space lichen. So again, just a quick review. Lichen is a symbiotic relationship between fungi and algae. But Jordan, what about the tree that the lichen grows on? Doesn't it hurt it? Another great question, camera. No, it actually does not hurt it. So in a, when the tree is alive, lichen enters into an abiotic relationship. The tree provides something for it to grow, whether that be a tree or a house or a rock or a fence. Lichen can literally grow anywhere. In this case, it happens to be, be a tree. That the tree provides a structure for it to grow on and it can now grow. Once the tree branch falls down, however, it is now in another, a different abiotic relationship. 
because the fungi in the lichen is known as a decomposer, which can then help to speed the process of breaking down a downed tree limb using the decomposition properties inside of the lichen. All right, everyone, and that's it for our second video of our Corona Lesson Series. Again, I hope you are liking that.